Go in. This wedge guarantees you're never going to chunk a shot ever again. It guarantees you're going to have a better short game and they are bold statements. You guys have been asking for it, so I've gone out and bought a square strike wedge. I watched the 18 minute commercial, I was brainwashed by how outlandish it was and how kind of cheesy and corny it was. Well, there's only really one way of testing. I'm going to give it a test and I'm going to give you guys the honest truth about this wedge. So before hitting the first shot with the square strike, I want to give this club a little bit of context. You guys have asked me to review this club so much. In the USA, you've probably seen it because the advert or the commercial gets plastered all over TV. It's quite a corny commercial, but it claims to eliminate chipping and pitching woes forever. I reckon you cannot chunk this wedge. See if that's the case. Um, it's $99, so I bought it online, and it's quite a unique look. It's got a quite a lot of unique factors to it. Now, chippers, in its simplest sense, are nothing new. They've been around for ages, but this does have quite a few unique features that have not been seen together in a chipper before. First thing is, this is a 45 degree lofted golf club, so it's almost effectively a pitching wedge loft. It's got a really heavy head and it's got a super wide sole. Now, Square Strike call this wide sole something ridiculous. They call it the ACS2 Low Friction Anti Chunk Slide Ramp Sole. Wow. Okay. In simplest terms, it's a wide sole and it has kind of a bit of a beveled edge to stop it from digging in the ground. Simple as that. It does come in other lofts, 55 degree and 60, but 45 degree seems to be the most popular choice. It comes in sand wedge length of club, which I really like, because often again, chippers come in almost like putter length. It's got a long grip, so you can go up and down the grip if you need to, to get a little bit more control. And the lie angle is very much upright for such a lofty club, because the technique to use this club effectively is pretty much like a putting technique not using the wrist or not flicking at it but using much more of a pendulum motion while aiming square to the target all sounds great right so i want to wanted to try it out with a very challenging shot for me a shot that was at the front of the green about 20 yards out tight lie front pin one if i'm honest with you i'm not comfortable with grabbing a sand wedge or a lob wedge I, uh, i've been known to hit those shots either heavy or thin so let's see if the square strike from that position does any good. All right, that's not bad. <laughs> I'd take that normally. That's good. Go in. <laughs> So, as you can see, first impressions was pretty good. I can't complain with the shots. The heavy head took a little bit of time just to get used to in, in the practice swings, but on the actual execution of the shot, the club did what it said it would do. And that surprised me, because I was kind of hoping to be able to rip this to shreds a little bit, because as I've seen on the commercial, the fact that it tries to brainwash you to thinking this is some sort of magic wand. So I thought I'd try it on some longer shots too. Similar tight lie, front pin, but slightly longer shot. So far, so good. I think the thing is what I've noticed with this club is on those tight lies when I've not really got to get over a great deal because even though the ball comes out with a little bit of height, it's not loads of height. As you can imagine, with a 45 degree club, it's not gonna go flying up into the sky. But if you see it as a chipper, and that's really what it is, it's a chipper, glorified one granted, a little bit of a, uh, a crazy one granted, but it's a chipper. In that situation, it worked great. It gave me good execution. The likeliness of, I, I kind of caught a few thin off the bottom of the golf club, but the result still worked. 
You've got to bear in mind, you've got to try and land it a little bit shorter to the green, but that's really the only thing you've got to take into consideration. It's a much shorter swing than you would experience with a sand wedge or a lob wedge. So I want to try a shot over a bunker. Now this is where, if you are a unconfident chipper or pitcher, a shot over the bunker is a nightmare shot because you're just thinking, don't go in the bunker, please don't go in the bunker. And often, you either fat it because you're trying to scoop it up in the air, or you'll thin it straight through the back of the green with a traditional lofted wedge or a lob wedge. Now the square strike did a job. And that's the only way I can explain it, it did a job. It did a decent enough job to get the ball over the bunker. But do not be fooled to thinking that this is a lofted club that's gonna fly you up in the air, certainly not in the 45 degree loft. It had its limitations. For me as a, I'd like to think somewhat of a skilled player, I would much prefer to get my lob wedge, open it up, fly it up over the bunker and hit a more skilled shot. But that does come with its downsides because like as I mentioned, if you don't hit it well, the results can be horrendous. If you are bottom of the barrel with confidence with chipping, just something that pops it over the bunker would be more than sufficient for you. So then I wanted to try a few more different shots, certainly shots from around the green in the rough, because that's where for me, I wanna get a little bit more wristy with it, a little bit more flicky, I'd be able to elevate the loft. But with this club, it's not advised one bit because you thin them if you do that. So I had to try and play the kind of square back, square through putting stroke, pendulum stroke out of the rough. As I mentioned before, it wasn't brilliant in this situation. It did a job. It got it up out of the rough onto the green, but I'm never gonna get it that close, certainly off some of the really hard shots that I put myself in. When you've got loads of green to work with, I mean, it's just simple. When you've got tons of green and you've just gotta bump it over a little bit of rough, this club is perfect for that because it just delivers the loft use the bottom of the club not to dig in the ground and it just pops up really nicely and after a little bit of time getting used to the technique as you know not using the wrist as much it worked a treat so then i thought well hold on that's me you know i can i can kind of change my technique pretty quickly you know if it tells me to keep my wrist straight and do a pendulum stroke i can do a pendulum stroke what happens though if i put the club in the hands of some unexpected amateurs so I got a hold of a group of guys that had just come off the 18th hole at the Marriott Worsley Park. And uh, I didn't tell them a lot. All I told them was this is a chipper that you've got to use a putting stroke to make it work more effectively. Now, truth be told, these guys struggled a little bit. The feedback I received was, one guy said he couldn't get his head around using a putting stroke from so far away. But he said he was a quite a good chipper. So maybe he didn't particularly need it. The guys who struggle with chipping, for me, did okay with this club, but not that impressive. A lot of thin shots happened. A lot of shots where it came off really low and just skipped along the floor. In its defense, nobody chunked it. And that is something that's really hard to do with this club. It's very difficult to chunk it. I hit some where I really tried to chunk it. I leant back on my right foot, tried to scoop it, and I hit the ground behind the ball. Now the ground was pretty hard when I tested it. It skimmed along the ground, still made contact to the ball. And as long as you've not got anything to get over, I actually hit some decent enough shots, which is totally embarrassing because they were horrendous shots. So all in all, the perfect candidate for this golf club is someone who hates chipping. Someone who doesn't want lessons and actually just sick of being laughed at by their playing partners. They just want to get the ball on the green and it does a great job for that. You're never going to flop it up in the air like Phil Mickelson, but you don't really need to with a club like this. The commercial, the advert is corny and cheesy and I hate every bit of it. But as a golf club, it works and if you hate chipping it's definitely worth giving a try thanks for watching we'll see you next time and that was a square strike wedge